Yeah, the event was called Changing Systems, Not Just Light Bulbs. And the reason we chose that is in the challenge of building a low carbon world, it's tempting to rush into immediate solutions and get busy with the light bulbs. But clearly what's required is a much deeper change than that, which goes right down to systemic root causes. So hence, hence not just the light bulbs. Yeah, so what we wanted to do with this event is take people on a journey where, first of all, we hear about the national picture of what it would take to build a zero-carbon Britain. So we heard from Paul Allen and Lisa Hopkinson from the Zero Carbon Britain project about that research that's been undertaken by the Centre for Alternative Technology, uh, and including their latest piece of research called Making It Happen, which looks at the political, economic, psychological uh, barriers to moving in this direction. So they recognise it's not primarily a technical challenge. We have got the technology. We could build a zero carbon society quite quickly, but there's clearly a lot of other barriers in place to moving in that direction. So that we wanted to look at that to start at the beginning of the event and then move on to look at, uh, because the event's focused on the high, higher education sector. So we had David Somerville from the University of Edinburgh who told us about the path which Edinburgh has been on um, to now have a really strong commitment to become zero carbon by 2040. So he told us a lot about the background for development of that strategy. Uh, and we then wanted to look at what does systemic change really mean? What are the underlying patterns um, behind systemic change and what can facilitate deeper systemic change? So we had a look at uh, one of the most recent models of this called Theory U, developed by Otto Sharma and his colleagues. Um, and the latter part of yesterday was spent um, exploring the meaning of that and some examples of where it's been applied. Uh, and then today we've moved on to the question of how, with all that input and that we've been exploring on the Saturday, can we bring that to bear on the situation uh, in, the, in the universities? Uh, which we work and in the wider setting as well because we have people here from the Sheffield Climate Alliance and from Reach Homes which are building zero carbon homes so how could it relate to their challenges so theory U is a model of systemic change which proposes that the most fundamental thing to look at is who we are as part of the system and as change agents in that system. How we understand ourselves, how we understand our motivations, how we understand what drives the whole system. And to s before we um, take quick actions to try and do something, we step back from that and find a space in which we can become aware of our own motivations and drivers and of the bigger systemic picture at work. Um, and really uh, listen to one another take time to observe, take time to reflect before we begin to think, OK, so what might we do here that uh, is actually going to be uh, really make a difference in the future? Um, what's the future calling for? Th there's a sort of strap line to theory U which is called leading from the future as it emerges. So the f you know, having done this journey sort of down the U to this very reflective place, then moving up the other side of the U uh, is a matter of starting to find, to experiment and to prototype, develop prototypes uh, quite quickly and see what works. And some of them won't work and some of them will. But given that, that deeper journey that's taken place, it, it means there's m much more chance that they're going to be effective. Well, yes, I mean, Sheffield University has many thousands of students graduating each year, doesn't it? And, and then going on, many of them into quite significant positions of leadership in all sorts of different sectors of society. Um, the university itself has got academics with a wide range of knowledge um, from the technical to the uh, to psychology to business, um, you know, virtually every to, to geography and cities, all sorts of different um, areas of specialist knowledge. So and many of these people are working on low carbon solutions as well. So how can we 
bring that sort of knowledge to um, create an institution which itself is dedicated to becoming zero carbon and, and acting as a leader in the social journey towards zero carbon. So universities are, they help to determine the dialogue, uh, the social dialogue, the social discourse, don't they? And um, so if we're not doing it in the universities, then, um, you know, who, who else is going to do it? We've got the resources, we've got the people, we've got the skills, we've got this group of young people with, with strong motivation. Yes, so what we are now going to do, the, the team of us that have uh, arranged this event, is pull together uh, a huge range of flip charts which you we know, when we've captured a lot of the ideas and insights that have emerged. And we've also, of course, got a film of many parts of the event, including the presentation. So we want to put together a, a guide, essentially, which draws out some of the key themes from this, um, both the, the underlying principles and what they suggest in terms of actions, experiments, the pro kind of prototyping that I was talking about. Uh, so you've got a bit of a, you know, you know we, we could do this. Wh what we don't want to produce is just a big list of shoulds. Uh, there's any number of lists of shoulds out there. We want to produce a list of coulds. Maybe we could experiment with this, maybe this, maybe this. Um, and, and then kind of weave that, that written work with the video recording, so make it as uh, uh, dynamic and engaging as possible. Uh, and get that out there. That's that's it. And then, and then we ourselves here, of course, have got all sorts of things that we could follow. You know, there's some of these things that have emerged um, relate very much directly to the situation at the University of Sheffield. So there's a number of things that we could start to develop. <laughs>